Hello everyone, in this video I want to showcase a couple of modifications I did uh, to this open source project, it's called Cypher the Author. Uh, actually, the I believe the original project is this one, BW16 the Author by Warwick. Um, so the BW16 is this little board here, this is a microcontroller, a bit similar to the ESP32. We can also do the authing with this. The main difference for, for the, the authing is that the ESP32 is not capable of uh, 5 GHz networks, only 2.4. So with the BW16 we can uh, scan 5 GHz networks, as we can see here on this metal thing. So it says 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz, and also Bluetooth. Um, so the this is the original code, and this guy here, David, uh, he made a couple of modifications so that this could be used with this um, OLED display, and also I think he added a couple of uh, other functionalities and stuff. He has a YouTube channel, Divine Zeal, pretty cool channel, pretty cool videos. If you are into uh, Wi-Fi hacking, hardware hacking, microcontrollers, uh, reader frequency stuff, jamming, all that stuff. If you're into those topics, I highly recommend his channel. Uh, he has a video, he has a couple of videos showing this 5 GHz the authing uh, device. So if you want to build this, uh, either on a breadboard or a soldered uh, protoboard, just watch his videos. This is pretty much the same uh, device. I just added a battery. I'm using here the TP4056 uh, for charging the battery so, so that I can use this and, and put it on my pocket. <clears throat> I don't need to worry about carrying a cable or a power bank or a cell phone or whatever. So let's just turn this thing on. And I have here this old iPhone, which, has, which I'm going to use to demonstrate this. So I'm not gonna go through all the different attacks possible with this. Uh, you can watch his video if you want. I'm just gonna show... Uh, so I added these two functionalities here, sniff and the auth plus sniff. So basically what the author does is that you select a network and you once you run the deauth attack, it is going to kick everyone from that network. So if you have a laptop or a tablet, a smartphone, anything connected to that network is going to be disconnected. Uh, this is cool. This sounds nice. You can you can play as a hacker with that. But I believe the main reason for doing that is that once the device gets disconnected from the network, it tries to automatically reconnect to it once it's possible. And once it does that, we are able to sniff this communication because the cell phone is going to try to reconnect to the network and it's gonna say, hey, I already connected to you before. And to prove that, here is your password. So we can sniff that communication between the device and the router and get the hash of the password. And with the hash of the password in hand, we can try to break it using Hashcat on our computer. So I'm gonna use um, my home network for this test. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna mess with the neighbors' uh, networks. So I'm gonna select here. We can see we have 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks. I'm gonna select the five because I know it's the one that I'm connected here. Select and I'm going to run the deauth plus sniff. And as soon as I hit this button, this is going to start a deauth attack. We're going to, we'll see this uh, disconnecting from this Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi symbol is going to disappear. And once this reconnect, we'll see here that the sniffing was complete. So I'm going to hit deauth. This is running the attack. We saw that was, that was too fast, but it disconnected from the network and the iPhone reconnected to this again. And we can see here sniffing OK. And it now says connected to this network, which is this one here. Uh, we can try to do that. I don't think this is going to work. I'm not sure. I believe this is an iPhone problem because uh, let me try to log in here. The password is from 0 to 9, but every time I try to log in, 
to this network on the iPhone, it doesn't work. I'm not sure if this is because this is an old iPhone. I think this is the iPhone 7 or something. But I tried this on my laptop and it worked. I tried this on my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, which, which is the one that I'm using to record this and it worked all the time. So after doing that, once you see this screen here, sniffing OK, you just need to connect to that network using that password and access this URL here. Once you connect to this URL, it is going to download a file named capture.pcap. With that file in hand, you just need to send that to your computer and run this command here. You need this program here, hcx pcapng2, and you can run this command. So you pass the capture.pcap and a hash.txt or actually whatever name you want here. This is the file that is going to be created and that is going to contain the hash of the password of the network that you just snipped. So once you do that, it's going to create this file and you can send this file to hashcat or to... I believe John the Ripper can do the work as well, but hashcat is usually the one to go. And you can run your brute force attack or wordless attack or whatever. And that's pretty much it. So this is, um, I, I don't know how reliable this code is right now. Actually, I'm not sure if this is um, a problem of the code, but sometimes this doesn't work. Actually, the dauth sometimes work, but then uh, when it starts to sniff, the device has already started the four-way handshake with the router so it captures only half of the communication it needs to get four EA pool frames and sometimes it gets only two or three or one um, I believe this is because it depends on a bunch of different variables so the kind of device that is connected how many devices are connected the strength of the, uh, of the network because this here is an antenna uh, we can put a bigger antenna like this one here with this connector and this will improve the signal so I believe there's a, a lot of different variables that can interfere with that but to prevent that I am working on another um, project which is this one here these two are two uh, BW16 just like this one the difference actually is that although this here says um, 5 gigahertz these purple uh, boards here, they are not capable of 5G uh, networks. They, they cannot sniff or deal with 5G net networks. I'm not sure why, but they work just fine for 2.4 gigahertz. So I already bought two of these. I'm just waiting for them to, to arrive. And I am working with these two here. So the idea is to use one for, oh, damn. Yeah, I'm going to need to solder this again. But the idea is to use one as a deauthor and one as a sniffer. So both will work 100% of the time as a the author and the other as a sniffer. So anything that connects to that network, since the sniffer is going to be sniffing all the time, is going to get all the packets. So I believe this is the main improvement. Uh, there's another thing I want to do. I just bought these um, tiny 180 degrees adapters so we can connect our board here and then connect this to our cell phone of course this is not going to work this is a this is not USB-C but we can connect this to our phone like like so and have this on the back of it and we can use the smartphone as the OLED display and the buttons because this is capable of terminal of uh, serial communication with the board. I already tested that with my Android phone and that worked. So I believe this is another um, form factor, so to speak, of this uh, thing here. And a lot less suspicious as well to carry outside. But that's it. Um, all the codes are going to be on the description below. If you want to, to use this, just watch to the Vine Zeals video showing how to build this and use my updated code. All right, see ya.